Hi guys, it's Ray. Today I am starting on a cup that's going to be um, a little bit different, I think. I'm going to do two of them, but I'm going to do them separately. So I have a 20 ounce skinny straight, and it's going to get this Nope Not Today Sucka decal on it, and it's going to get a strip of this succulent border on it. But I think in between, I want a strip of wood grain. So I'm going to, if that gets placed about there, it's going to leave me just under four and a half to work with. So I'm going to trim this down first because every side of this will have to get cut regardless um, to make it unsealed around the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that all the way around to begin with. And then cut the strip I need of this. I've never done a wood grain on just a section like that, so I'll be curious to see how that works. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna just cut from here, I think. I'm gonna go um about two and a quarter. So that's gonna be a pretty skinny strip of this. I'm going to set those aside and I'm going to measure and mark about two and a quarter up from, um, even though these are straights, the bottom have that little bit of a dip. So I'm going to mark it just up from there with a dry erase marker, even though it might not wipe off cleanly on this. I'm just going to mark it in a couple spots. Try and get it even so that I can tape it off somewhat cleanly. If it's not perfect, I'm not going to sweat it. And then I'm going to mark again. Um, just about two up from that. This isn't epoxied yet because I don't know that a wood grain would work over epoxy, to be honest with you. So, and I want to work that on a non epoxied surface. So, I'm going to tape along. Somewhere in the neighborhood of those marks. And that didn't line up too, too badly. I don't think anyways. Hopefully the ink won't flow under. I have no idea. I've never done it this way but I got it in my head that this is what I wanted to do. So, it's what I'm gonna do.
Close enough. Right? Right. So I'm going to make sure that's sealed fairly well. So I don't bleed too much under. I'm going to get a glove on. I have a new chippy brush ready. And I have two pinks. I have pink sherbet and gumball. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to work away from me. From the bottom of the cup down. And like I said, I'm going to hope that it doesn't bleed under the tape too much. If it does, I'm going to have to repaint those areas. So we'll see. But I'm going to work this very much like I would a brown wood grain. I'm just going to start going over it in sections. I'm going to see if I can get that dot off of there. Not really. Okay. I almost dipped my brush in my water. So the ink is pulling up the black, but my water wouldn't remove it on the spray paint. Whatever. It is what it is. I'm just going to go around and around and around and see what we end up with. So now I want to come in with my second color. And this is a much paler color. But it's going to blend with the other color to give me like an in-between-ish color. Because it's going to reactivate what I've already put down. But you can see where it's actually starting to pick up a wood grain type look, so that's good. Because that is, after all, what I'm going for. I may work back and forth with the two colors a little bit here. I love a Matty bug. That was a lot right on the edge. I really, really hope that didn't bleed much. scrubbing my brush a little bit sideways before I do broader strokes. That'll give it um, a little bit of a different interest. So we'll go on the corner like that just to break it up a little bit. I'm going to come down here again with the darker color.
not too worried about that where that black is fading out to gray a little bit that's fine I'm just really trying to make sure there's no real white showing at this point. Oh, and I could see where that just ran right underneath on me. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I do have a kind of backup plan, but I didn't really want to go that route. But I may have to if it's wicked up a ton. So, we'll see. We'll see here pretty soon. Sooner rather than later. But I think... Maybe one spot of the darker in the middle here. I think I'm pretty okay with that, so let's see how bad this is underneath. A little bit of bleed through where that tab was, a little bit here and there. I felt it lifting, so I kind of expected that. I think electrical tape would have worked better, but I feel like it would have peeled my, um, peeled my paint on me. And I don't think that... Um, I don't think alcohol is going to take this off for me, but I'm going to try that first <clears throat> because this isn't a glossy paint. I think it's just going to lighten it up. Which, on the bottom, where I'm going over with water slide, wouldn't be that big a deal. But on this top spot, that's just not going to cut it. So, I'm going to have to figure out something there. But this will lighten it up enough that I can put that water slide on. So, I'd figure out how I want to adjust the top. I think I'm going to lighten it up a little bit the same way. And then I think it's going to end up with either a strip of vinyl or um, some glitter. <laughs> one way or the other, but sectioning it off that way was definitely a fail, so good to know. I say good to know because I have a second one of these in the works that I will probably do a different way now, but this was my test for directly on a cup, so now I know. Okay, <clears throat> so I obviously can't put this water slide on because I don't really want to do it over pale pink. So that one I'm going to have to hold off on. So I'll probably hold off on the other one too. Um, but I think I'm going to grab a super duper pale pink glitter. Um, probably this cherry blossom one. I think the water slide will still show up over this. I may mix it half and half with a white. And I'm going to go ahead and do the Mod Podge method to apply it. So, we're just going to roll with it. And 
and I'm actually going to just leave the Mod Podge as Mod Podge white. I'm not going to um, tint it pink or anything because I'm going to do the mixed color. And we're just going to keep carrying on here. Some of that pink will probably show through at the bottom, but it'll be fine. I'm actually just going to go ahead and use... Um, actually, I'm not going to do it that way. Hang on. I'm going to grab a different white glitter. I'm going to go ahead and use Snowflake from the same company. These are Glitter Bees glitters. I'm going to do kind of about the same amount. Just to thin it back down some. Ooh, I think one of those had a little moisture in it. You can see how it got a little clumpy on me. My cherry blossom might have been a little damp. I won't be able to tell until I start spreading it. Although it seems powdery in the thing. You know what I did? I just mixed it in the alcohol cup. So I'm going to set that cup aside. And I'll dump that in my dump cup when it dries. Because why not mess up one more time, right? again. See, my glitter's fine. It's just fine. Okay. <laughs> that was a little bit silly of me. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to cover them up now. Jeez. Okay. And I take this back. I'm going to actually add a little bit of white paint to my Mod Podge. Because I think I want it to cover some of that pink a little bit better. So... I do think I want something that actually has a white pigment in there. So just a little bit of white. Whatever paints you use, use those to tint your Mod Podge. <clears throat> Except spray paints. Don't try that. So we're just rolling with it here. Rolling with the mess ups. Two so far. How are you doing? All right. I'm going to get a piece of paper or two. I'm just going to use a foam brush here to apply the Mod Podge and paint and try and get semi straight. That'll definitely cover up the pink more than just the Mod Podge would. But it's still not going to be. Perfect, perfect coverage. But this is going to end up with a pinstripe, so we'll be all right. In my head, this worked flawlessly. In reality, not so much. And I know, I'm sorry, this is now making this run extremely long. 
and now I actually wish I had applied my vinyl first because now I want to glitter the bottom too. So <laughs> let's get this applied first. And I just touched that. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? And I didn't mix up a ton of glitter, so. I'm gonna have to pour it back in the cup a couple times here. So, bear with me. I had really, really wanted this to be like a one step and then onto epoxy cup, but clearly that is not going to happen. So <clears throat> I'm just going to grab a small brush and brush this off the wood grain part. Oops. Yep. And get into the Mod Podge part a little bit. No biggie. Touch that up right now. Try that again. Maybe a little more care and caution. So, I'm going to pick this up because I want to keep this. That ended up kind of lumpy there. I'm going to pat it down a little bit. I'm going to set that to the side. And I'm going to see if I can mess this up some more. Nope. I'm going to attempt, and I mean attempt, to get this bottom water slide on so I know exactly where the bottom is going to fall so I can Mod Podge around it now that I've come this far. So I have some water ready. I'm going to dip my water slide. I'll go ahead and get this glove off now. I'm going to go ahead and dip the water slide. And this water has gotten significantly cold. So, hopefully it'll still release. I'm going to have to keep the cup pointed down a bit. Because I don't want it to run into the Mod Podge and glitter. I'm going to get this whole bottom a little bit damp. And see if this is ready to release a little bit. Just about. So I'm going to see if I can get this to slide one-handed. Right. Good thing I had this on a... I actually need that to go the other way to the somewhat straight direction. So I'm just gonna pull and wrap And I didn't trim this down lengthwise yet. So when I get to my overlap, I'm going to have to cut it carefully. I 
Um, this is that Hippo brand water slide paper that I love so much. So I'm going to cut it here and hope for the best. Not bad, not bad. And again, this is going to get a pinstripe, so I'm not worried about it at that point. I'm going to take my brush and brush out excess, any bubbles, things of that nature. All right. I'm going to take a dry towel and blot it dry, especially the bottom, because I'm going to go ahead and do this glitter right now. And I just moved the whole thing, of course. I'm going to get it slid back into place. And get that wrinkle back out. And I did crack it a little bit. But right back together, no problem. So I'm not even going to worry about letting that dry yet. I'm going to get this wet stuff out of the way. I'm going to grab my cup of Mod Podge. And coat my whole bottom. And I'm just going to run right along the edge. So is this cup going to be perfect? No. Is it salvageable? Absolutely. Am I thrilled about the direction it went? Nope. But that happens. Sometimes things go sideways. And if you can kind of think on the fly and come up with a backup plan, then that's fantastic. So, that is coated good enough. I'm going <laughs> to brush that off carefully. So, unfortunately, now that I have the Mod Podged glitter on it, I'm going to have to spray seal this at some point. Um, which is why I was kind of trying to avoid this because it's been the rainy season, but <clears throat> once it's dried and spray sealed, I'm going to get a coat of epoxy on it and then I will come back and get the pinstripes on it for you and get this laid on for you. So I'll be back when it's ready for the next real step. Okay, hopefully I can get through this without too much struggle, but I'm going to use my HTV Rant Rose Gold to do the first pinstripe. And then I'm gonna do, I think the green nail tape over. I didn't take the topping off of this when I cut it, so I've got those to contend with also. My lines are kind of off, so this is going to be interesting to get it striped, to say the least. But if I can get it off the backer, you guys know I struggle with this. Okay. 
Okay. So this is my seam on the back here. I'm gonna start in there somewhere. And I did put um, two coats of epoxy on this, in case you were wondering. But it did cover up most of that pink. There's a little bit showing through, but not, not terrible. So I'm pretty good with how it ended up. And we're going to trim it somewhat in line with that original seam. You can tell I didn't quite cut it straight because I hand cut these. I did not cut these on the machine. So this one's even worse, to be honest. Is that topper? And getting it off the backer. Maybe a different pick would help. There we go. Okay. So, same thing on this one. This has gotten a lot more um, complex than I wanted, I guess is the word. Oh, and I want to show you this spot in a minute here, too. So, you hear me say that I don't seal my alcohol inks, but you know I sealed this because I had to seal the glitter down. This is why. It got this, like, speckly look on my inks. In just a couple spots, it didn't do it all over. I tried not to spray over the ink, but where I did the overspray kind of ate at the ink a little bit. That's what happens sometimes, and that is why I don't seal my inks. So, I know some people will tell you to always seal your ink, some people will tell you not to. My preference is not to, and if I'm going to, I'm going to use um, Kmar varnish first. So, but this one I went straight to my regular old spray sealer to do my glitter. And that was the result. And this one still has the topper on it. So I need to get that off. In a second here. very clingy stuff when it's staticky in the room. I'm just trying to make sure it's not showing that water slide. I'm not going to trim around the whole thing, but I am going to just kind of even it off the edge there, hopefully. I 
it's going to be visible that it's not the same, but it'll kind of take it away a little bit. There. And I'm going to go with the green nail tape. And I'm just going to go slow and stripe through the middle. three sections. This cup has definitely gotten, like I said, way, way more intense than it was originally intended to be, but I think it'll be okay in the end. So, there we go. My pinstripes are done. So I'm going to try and find that back somewhat. I have a thing of water ready. I'm just going to pull over here. My water slide is prepared, so I'm just going to put that in the water for a minute. I've got a dry paper towel, and I'm going to get a wet paper towel. My water is already cooling off. And I'm going to get my cup damp. And see if my water slide is ready to slide. And I do believe it is. So. And like it's sister cup, this is another nope, not today, sucker. So I'm going to look at it and see if my lines are somewhat straight. All right. And I kept that glitter pretty thin so it would still allow the water slide to show nicely and it does but it's still got that sparkle beneath which is what I was going for so that's on squeegeed out so I'm just gonna blot it and we're gonna let this dry for a bit and get a coat of epoxy on it and then that'll be it so, I will be back to put the epoxy on. Okay, this is all dry. It's actually sat overnight. So, time for a nice clear coat. I'm not going to add anything to this. I think it's good as it is. Other than it's slightly unlevel in my turner. But I'll get that adjusted. So, I'm going to go kind of carefully over all of these strips of vinyl and nail tape. Try not to lift them at all. I wish I had a pink nail tape, but I don't. Because now I feel like pink would have looked better than the green, but it is what it is. I mean, it's not that there's not green in the cup. Get over my water slide here. 
my glove is slipping off and folding over on me. <clears throat> there. So I'm just gonna get this smoothed out, make sure I've got nice full coverage. Now, because this ended up with glitter at the top and actually a fairly heavy layer of glitter to cover that ink, um, I did have a slight dip here. I'm hoping that it's going to be gone after this coat. Um, it was mostly gone before I did my tape. Um, so I'm hoping all I'm feeling is the tape ridge line now, but I won't be able to tell until this is dry. But here's hoping. So, just making sure the top is full coverage. Double check my bottom. And I'm just going to let this dry. And we'll see what we have in a couple hours. So, here is this one finished. There's that super cute water slide decal. I absolutely love it and the pink and the water slide the base was just glittered on top nothing fancy but that is it for this one and I'm gonna bring its sister back into the frame because absolutely neither of these ended up how they were initially intended but I am so Super happy with both of them. Um, this did spread more of the glitter than you initially saw. Um, but I don't mind it. Um, I really could have added a little bit more here once it's spread, but you know what? It's all good. Um, I just absolutely love the way both of these came out. So, I have some more um, succulent images in reserve to work with sh shortly when I can get some water slides sealed. Um, so, who knows? There'll be more coming at some point. But, thanks for watching.